So then guys, the engine is here. Dropped off at my brother's garage. I was gonna work on it tonight, but it's getting a bit late after what happened with the uh, Chorus Forester. But the engine's here. Just gotta get this one out, put that one in, transfer everything over. And fingers crossed everything's all good with the engine and it runs lovely. So we are back, it's the next evening. Um, the radiator is just about to come out. It's got this top radiator hose to, to come off. Um, I've already stripped the turbo off. Next is the mounts. All of this, this is already off. Then the gearbox bolts, starter motor, get batches already out. And then it's the bottom mount. And we should then be able to take it out. And put this bad boy in. All the bolts are out. Everything else is out. Just jacking it up now on the engine lift. It's already separating, as you can see. I've just wrapped the seat belt around the manifold and it is coming out. It's that. It's that, guys. Here it is. I've took the clutch off. I've inspected that, that's all right. Um, I've got a brand new clutch that's going in it anyway. Did well for, for what it hold, didn't it? 350 brake. Well, just nearabouts there. Just see the, uh, the silicon <laughs> from the first episode we did. So yeah, we're gonna uh, drop this onto this tire, move it about, take a few things off of it, put it onto the new engine, and we'll see you in the next clip. All right then, guys. So this is where we've got up to so far. The manifold we're not put on yet because we are I've just put left it in there just so it's out of the way. We are going to be spraying it wrinkle red, like the STRs. And this is the block now. Completely bare. Just got the up pipe on. Unfortunately, we've uh, broken the uh, the landing sensor on the way out. Brand new one as well, but oh well, shit happens. Okay then, guys. So as you can see, I'm at home. Just finished ring, doing the uh, wrinkle red on the, the inlet manifold. It all come out quite nice, except for this area here. If you can see, it's up here. A few splodges that didn't cover very well, so I kept going over them. And it wrinkled quite a bit more than the rest. But I think it turned out quite well. First time I've ever done it, so I'm quite uh, happy with it. Worst comes to worst, just take take this bit off and redo it, but I think it'll be a lot of hassle if I did that, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And if any of you were wondering what I used, I used this, this brand here, VHT Wrinkle Plus. And then I just literally used the hairdryer to help it crinkle. So the guys, just back at the uh, garage, I've been to RCM and bought a kit for the TGV deletes. So I'm just bolting it up to my manifold now. And you get all your hardware and things like that. I also, I got the wrong pipe, so I swapped out the pipe. Some new spark plugs and a turbo fitting kit. Um, I'll try and get everything all together just to show you and explain what I've got. But I'm just gonna quickly build these up just so then it's like a one, one piece unit, so I haven't got to have bits everywhere. Okay then guys, so, fully built engine. I've sprayed this, shown you this already. Lightened uh, crank pulley. A lot of things have already been bolted down. This, I need to put the uh, gaskets on and things like that. Here's the turbo, stock location, precision. That's the fuel pump, Fuji, three, 340 liters per hour. Um, that's the TGVs that I've just put on to the manifold. A lightened flywheel and clutch kit. And equal length manifold with the up pipe to go with it. 850cc injectors. This is a wide band just to make sure we know all the air to fuel ratio is good. This one I've just picked up today is the uh, inlet pipe for the turbo, new plugs, turbo fitting kit. And in here we have 
the um, RCM parallel fuel rails and a few other bits and bobs. When I start opening this up, I'll, sh I'll talk about everything and what's, what's going where and things like that. So almost finished on the bottom end, just putting on the oil cooler. Got this pipe on here, it runs over and runs into there. And I'm just putting this rubber pipe on here. We scraped it, unfortunately on the floor when we brought it in. So I'll just probably go over that with a little bit of paint. Just touch it up a little bit. Not that anyone's gonna see under the car. Uh, in the future, this is gonna be heat wrapped. But for now, it's gonna be like this because I've not got any at the minute. And I just wanna get the engine in and running, make sure everything's good. And then these bits can be done afterwards. So then guys, here is everything for the fuel inside. This is a high pressure fuel regulator these are the parallel fuel rails that's the fitting kit for it these are the 850cc denso injectors and this one is the um what was it called the 350 340 liters per hour as you can see 340 liters per hour uh, fuel pump but yeah so this is all going to be bolted straight onto the manifold and then place the manifold onto the engine block side down all I did was put these two injectors in and uh, there's a bracket that sits under here you have to bolt that to the fuel rail first and then as you've seen in the last clip just bolt in these two here and that should keep the pressure so it doesn't leak so fuel rails are all in fuel lines are all in the regulator is in as well, just need to find somewhere to uh, put that. Just got the inlet manifold mounted onto the engine. Just put this bracket back on for the alternator. And so far it's starting to look more of an engine. <laughs> it's all on the lift, engine lift. Everything's all bolted in. <sighs> what a pain the uh, fuel lines have been. Anyway, we jacked up the gearbox and and uh, the engine soon as soon as we put the engine in we'll have to probably move this up and down so it's all back together fuel lines are all connected Fuel pressure regulator was a pain because we got the lines the wrong way around. When we turn the ignition on, we do get fuel pressure now, and we've checked if we're no leaks, but we won't know until we turn it over. But we can't turn it over yet because we've not got the uh, mineral oil for the engine. We <laughs> oh, I dropped the oil in then. Yeah. Anyway, Miller's running in oil. No advertisement. It's all free advertisement, that. Oil's all in it. You've got to take off the crank sensor so we can prime the engine so it pumps oil around it before it so starts up it. and, uh, and uh, otherwise it might ruin the engine. So I'm going to pass the phone back to Corey and I'm going to try and start the car. Hopefully it's got enough battery. Oh. Been waiting so long. 